Okay, so on this one, they've, they've given us a bunch of graphs and a bunch of, um, so a bunch of graphs up here, and then a bunch of possible exponential equations down there. And they want us to figure out, you know, which ones go with which ones. Max, it's a match them up. Yeah, match, match each equation with the graph above. Okay, well, to do that, we gotta, let's go over here and talk about what goes on. So y equals a times b to the x. That's, that's the form of all. You have a number in the front and then another number, a base with an x on it. Okay, what, what is the deal? Well, the a is, is the height of the graph in the middle. Why? Because if you plug in, plug in x equals zero, which is the middle, right? What do you get? Y equals a times b to the zero, which is y equals a times one, which is y equals a. So that's the point zero a x y right does that make sense if you plugged in zero which is the middle you would get b to the zero and you know anything to the zero power is one and a times one is just a so y is a so in other words that's what that's the height of the graph in the middle that's what that a is it's the height of the graph in the middle so let's look back at these heights which one has a different height? That one, four. Which graph has a height of four? Look, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's this guy. So that one is for sure the blue because of that four. It's up here at four. Make sense? We know that one's that one for sure because that's the only one go where, who, who, the, where the height of the graph in the middle is different. The height of the graph in the middle is four. The rest are three. See how all the rest have a height of three and all of them hit here at three. So we'll have to do something else with the other ones. Okay, so far so good. So the A is the height of the graph in the middle because if you plug in zero for X, which is the middle, this is X is zero on the X axis, then you get a times b to the zero and anything to the zero power is one, a times one is a. The y, the height is a in the middle, zero a. Okay, now setting that aside, what about the b? So, so this first part I should have said, let me come down here. A here, wait, sorry, I'm kind of making a mess here. A is height, there we go, that's what a is now for b. What is B? B greater than one graph up to the right. B less than one, which would mean a fraction, fraction, then the graph goes down to the right. So if B is greater than one, the graph goes up to the right. If B is less than one, means a fraction. The graph goes down to the right. And the bigger it is, bigger numbers go up faster. Smaller, Numbers, smaller fractions, I should say. Smaller fractions go down faster to the right. We're always talking about as you go to the right. To the right. So the B, the base, the thing that has the exponent on it, that's what tells you if the graph goes up or down and how fast it goes up or down because that's the base. And you're constantly raising a bigger and bigger power on that base. So let's look at the bases. So here we have, there's a base, 
base, the base, the base, the base. So which one is the biggest base? Well, the biggest base is right here, 1.54. That's the biggest base. So which graph goes up the fastest? This is the up number one. That's the black graph, at least on mine. See the black graph right here? It's going up the fastest, isn't it? See how it's going up faster than the other ones? It's already above them. So that's the black. That's the black graph, the K. Okay, which one's going up second fastest? Well, that would be the blue. Oh, we've already got him. Which one? Which one's going up third fastest? Well, that would be the orange right here. He's going up, but not as fast. That would be this one here. This is up number two, other than the blue. We've already taken care of the blue. This one's right. He's going up second fastest. Orange. Now, the red and the green are going down. Which one's which? Well, which fraction, right? Smaller fraction goes down faster. So the smallest fraction must be the green. So that's the 0.73. That's the smallest fraction. So that's the green. See how the green graph goes down the fastest, followed by the red. That's, that's going down. because Why? Because it's 0.84, which is less than one. It's a fraction. Fraction or decimal, same thing, right? You guys understand a fraction is a decimal. It's going down, but not as fast as the green. So that's the red. And this one right here is the blue. So there we go. So that's how we tell. So we're learning some of the characteristics of an exponential function. The A in the front is the height of the graph in the middle. Because if you plugged in X equals zero in the middle, you get b to the zero, which is one, a times one is a. Uh, then the b, the base, the thing the x is on, that's about whether it's greater than one or less than one. If it's greater than one, then it goes up to the right. If it's less than one, a fraction, a decimal, it goes down to the right. The bigger it is, the faster it goes up. The smaller it is, the faster it goes down to the right. There we go.